Hello everyone and welcome back to the latest video on my channel Digger Evans Model Railway. Um, what we're looking at is the next part in doing these uh, these bridge sides. As you can see we've got them all coated like we did in the last video with this with this undercoat and now we're going to add a little bit of rust here and there just to give it a bit of extra detail. We're doing it before we finish painting before we do the finished coat and that is so that the rust appears to be breaking through from behind the paint and it will do i'll show you how we're going to do it and it looks actually a bit realistic we've seen this before we've all seen this before so it's not going to be uh, anything new the only thing we have to decide is how much rust and where do we put it if we imagine this is the top this is the bottom there's a slight lip on the bottom and there's plenty of small rivets up and down and, and what have you so the rain's going to hit the top here run down the front and, and sit along the bottom on these ledges now as bridges go they're going to fairly well maintain it they're not going to let it get too bad but in places on occasions it's going to get bad so we're going to do this similar thing to every single panel not on this video obviously it'll take forever uh but we'll go back to basics of what we're using for this we're using a tube of anyone's acrylic from any anyone knows where sponge on a stick the old tested and faithful method just get a tiny amount tiny tiny amount there and we're just going to run it in a couple of places down at the bottom end just see a tiny bit going on there put it on a couple of these prominent places what might get a bit more of the weather and wind just along the bottom now you notice i haven't made any imprint onto it yet I'll put the paint on first before I do anything like that. So we're just going to get the paint on. And now I'm just going to bring it ready. And just make it a little bit of a texture with the sponge, but not too much. We don't want it too heavy. It's not uh, it's not been stood doing nothing for a long, long time. It's just rust and, and you know they'll do a preventative maintenance program on a bridge but it's probably 18 months ago since they did it and it needs blasting and doing again which is the look we're going for so we're just going to continue doing that you notice we're only doing it in one color and the reason we're only doing it in one color is we're going to add some colors afterwards after the finished coat to enhance the rust but we don't want to make it look any more rough and rusty we just want it, this amount of rust to be on there if i started adding a lighter color now to contrast with this color we'll end up in dickie's meadow where it gets too much paint and too rough so we're going to do it afterwards but we're not going to use that we're going to use pigment pigment colours, liquid pigment, so it'll uh, it'll be worth watching. So I don't know how well we can see that. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that all the way along and a couple of occasional places just along the top. Just along the top. Here and there, just where the rain might sit and get a hold on there where there's a, a cross member coming down doesn't have to be a lot just just enough to let us know there is slight corrosion going on behind the paintwork you can do it a couple of the the rivets at top the rivets are always going to have water sat around them that's the nature of the beast that's what happens with rivets they, they form a lip wherever they are and and the water can sit on that couple more panels to do and then we'll just have a quick look at it and what we're going to do next 
what the next process is. What you see, this tube I've, uh, I've painted lasted forever, even though everything on the layout is rusted. We're not going overboard with it. Just tiny amounts of rust here and there. And I'll, uh, I'll give you a final overview of it. So if we did add the other colour now, it'd, it'd be in the acrylic paint and it would make it would make the rust rather thick and heavy. It's tacky enough. The tackier and more dry the glue, the rougher the rust is going to look using this method. So we don't want to do that if we can help it. Just tiny amounts like that. Now, that is almost ready. It's going to look similar to this one. And you can see we've added colour afterwards and used use that pigment colour to streak onto the paint where the water is actually running down now that the rust has burst through. You see tiny amounts of paint still within the rust to make it look like it's bursting through from behind. So it, it looks pretty effective, I think, once we've got it done. We'll just be back in one sec. Right, we can kind of zoom in a bit and uh, have a look there, what's going on. And that, that is how it's going to look before we put the next coat on. That's what it's going to look after we've had the scratchy on and added some pigment and, and the final coat. You can see in certain areas rust is wanting to break through. I'll use this as my pointer. And if you look there, at that area, you can see it's rough behind there. The rust is pushing its way through. Before you know it, it's going to burst through and we're going to have a big mess. Horrible looking and dirty and all the rest of it, which is just what we're going for. You can see here, painting over the top works to a great advantage because you can see tiny traces of paint that are hanging on while the rust is pushing through. And uh, that's what we're going for all over the place so thank you all ever so much for looking in the next process with this will be giving them all a coating of chipping fluid which is here and we will do that in the next video i'll show you how to do that it's the only thing i do actually use water to dilute rather than uh, the uh, acrylic the acrylic uh, thinners because it doesn't it doesn't behave well with that stuff on so thank you all for looking in i shall see you all next time uh thank you for watching thank you for subscribing do give us a thumbs up and do dis subscribe if you're not already subbed thank you all ever so much bye bye for now my friends and do take care bye bye now